so I, I asked that they, they drive me back in a box van and put me in the back compartment, which is completely separated. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. So, uh, maybe it was just in my head, but this morning I noticed a sore throat. Uh, I also had to return a vehicle to Enterprise, so I, I uh, rolled down the windows, uh, didn't go inside, uh, I had to set the keys on the, uh, on the, uh, on the stairs in front of the, the, uh, the building and uh, just talk to them, uh, for, you know, from a distance of at least six feet. Now, maybe I'm being paranoid. There are only 15 cases in New Hampshire today, or as of yesterday. Uh, this is this is uh, March 15, uh, March 16th today. But I wonder if I will, uh, you know, again, if if I don't see any more symptoms and the sore throat doesn't get any worse over the next couple three days, I think that will be an indication to me that it's it's in my head because it's so mild. But um, it does make me worry. I always wanted to not. I wanted to not be one of the guys who, um, you know, one of those people you see in the movies who has uh, some kind of illness and then hides it from everyone because they're afraid of being retaliated against or something like that, and then they wind up spreading it. I just don't want to be that guy. But le that left the uh, thorny ethical question of how to get to back 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 home from the Enterprise after dropping off my vehicle. Uh, now, if I were to to just let uh, the Enterprise drive me back, then I'd be in close quarters with a uh, an Enterprise driver. I wouldn't want to infect them if I've even got a, an issue. Uh, but uh, but uh, my landlords, Jim and Lauren have uh, kindly agreed to drive me back and so I, I asked that they, they drive me back in a box van and put me in the back compartment which is completely separated um, but they decided to use this vehicle which is uh, at least I've got I've got more than six feet separation from them and of course they're already exposed to me anyway because I, I live there so uh, and with only 15 I guess roughly 15 cases in New Hampshire so far. Uh, the chances of this being uh, coronavirus are pretty small. <laughs> but you know, what are the odds of getting a, of a sore throat the frigging third day of a plague or whatever? <laughs> uh, it's really lucky. Thanks, guys. So it's March 17th, 2020, Winchester, New Hampshire. It's my first plague, so I'm sure to get some of this wrong. Maybe the timing, maybe the price. But disasters are not just a time to be nervous about your neighbors. They're a time to reach out to your neighbors. Speaks for itself. I was considering just shutting down this uh, trading post or setting up a placeholder only, but I decided if I uh, sterilize everything and uh, I don't actually have to be sitting at the table, I could probably do it. Of course, that means the price has to be, or it probably needs to be zero. I had, I had planned for this to be a full-blown, you know, trade thing, but having announced that I would try to be open today, I, I felt, uh, that I should be something along the lines of open. I heard a televangelist say a few weeks ago that uh, if you use a mask uh, in a disaster of this kind, you're a moron. And uh, my understanding is that if you make a statement like that, you're more of a moron because this that's what people do when they want to protect you from them. People who have a sore throat are supposed to be wearing a mask. So I hear. Tell me if I'm wearing mine wrong. I'm doing my best. Uh, but, uh, yes, at some point I guess I'll have to raise the price. But, uh, for now I just want to establish the spot 
and set a tone of uh, some sort of humanitarianism or something that at least vaguely resembles it. And doing things where I said I would do them, when I said I would do them. But most of these are items that were rationed last I checked. So we're gonna if we're gonna get through with uh, fewer shortages, we're gonna have to have more people than just me trading and giving things away. But you gotta start somewhere. Tell me how to do this better. 2,000 Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com